Everybody knows there's rarely enforced codes. This week I'm gonna talk about five rarely enforced codes when it comes to central air conditioning. Now, if you're working in certain states that actually follow up on code requirements and you pull a building permit, everybody knows those towns that's gonna to hit you up on every word on the code. I'm not gonna focus on those guys. I'm gonna focus on the guys that are missing the majority of things that should be enforced. Before you go and share this with your building inspector, you should use a little caution, right? Make sure you're following this stuff first and you're pulling a building permit. But my question to you as an HVAC contractor is, are you gonna wait until enforcement or are you gonna do this on your own? Welcome back, I'm Chris Moore with HVAC Pro Blog, and this week I'm gonna fire off the five least enforced AC codes. Number one is duct testing. Even though this has been enforced for quite a few years in the area that I work, Massachusetts and Rhode Island, it is very rarely enforced across the country. If you're on one of the most recent code cycles, the 2015 International Energy Conservation Code, then only a total leakage duct test can be done to verify duct leakage is within the parameter that's allowed. Now, this total leakage test is accomplished by pressurizing your system and the ductwork to 25 pascals or 0.1 inches of water column and dividing the leakage by the square footage that the unit services. That percentage needs to be 4% or less, or it can leak four CFM per 100 square feet that the unit services. Of course, if duct leakage testing is new to you, going to this most strict level I've ever seen could be a drastic jump. And sealing a duct system after it's installed, not as it's being installed, is extremely difficult, particularly in attics or if you have ductwork that's going into attics from conditioned spaces. If all of your ductwork is within the conditioned space, very rarely would you need to actually do a duct test. But if you have any piece of ductwork that leaves the conditioned space, duct testing is required. All right, I'm not gonna talk about manual J because that is typically enforced in most areas of the country. Number two is actually equipment selection or manual S. If you didn't know, manual S has been revised not too long ago updated from its previous copy in 1995. This copy actually gives you some guidance and allowance for variable speed systems. It's really important that you understand the minimum and maximum oversizing for every type of system that you're installing, particularly air conditioning, because that allowance is different if you have a single stage, multi-stage, or variable speed system. And it's actually stated in the code in the IRC and IECC that you need to provide this report to your building inspector. Some manufacturers actually make this very easy for you with system selection software or even simple Excel documents. Some other manufacturers just publish data and you have to do this longhand. Remember, equipment selection doesn't just take into account minimum and maximum oversizing. It's actually the process to re-rate the equipment so you understand how it actually operates under your design conditions using your load calc. Number three is condensate overflow switches. Now this should be just commonplace, but it's very rarely enforced. I usually see most people get the logical ones when it comes to central equipment like furnaces or ducted air conditioners. Usually you'll see overflow switches uh, in the system and on the overflow pan. But what most don't realize is this also applies to ductless or mini split systems as well. Keep in mind, if you're gonna put an overflow switch into a ductless system, most manufacturers recommend a specific style or they make their own. They need to be a lot smaller than what you're gonna be putting into that overflow pan on a large furnace, let's say. All right, number four is locking refrigerant caps. Yeah, that's a code requirement, and let's be honest, that's a no-brainer here. This one's a tough one. Keep in mind, most codes are probably written in blood. Somebody probably did something stupid in order to make that a code requirement to lock those caps onto the AC system or the heat pump. Unfortunately, there's always a story, it seems every year, someone that doesn't understand and they huff that refrigerant. Obviously that causes some internal damage and typically death. I don't wanna get any more particulars here. It's obviously a downer. If you're not using them, just start doing it. It's a code requirement. You're gonna save somebody's life. I'm gonna be honest. If you're a manufacturer, maybe we should just start installing these right from the factory. After all, it is an international code requirement. And to close things out, number five is actually line set insulation. In order to meet the minimum code requirement 
for insulation on your line sets, it has to be at least R3. Not only does it have to be R3, it has to be clearly marked on the insulation so the inspector can see it. This seems so simple to buy the right line set, but most of the industry uses unmarked and untested without UV rated line sets. Please spend a few extra dollars Get a high quality line set so you don't have leaks in them later on. This will go a long way, particularly for heat pumps and the efficiency of the operation. Plus, it's required by code. Let's not find this out after we have to replace the line set once the building was inspected. Of course, there are many more codes that most HVAC contractors follow on a daily basis. This list just happens to be the least enforced in areas near me. I'm gonna leave you with this. Just because the speed limit is not actively being enforced, is it okay to speed? Of course, that varies depending on your personality, but what are you gonna tell the cop when they pull you over, right? Thanks for joining me this week at HVAC Pro Blog, where we provide advice for residential system design, quality installation, and system diagnosis. I'll see you soon.